Demon Tide is a fairly long fight. Uh, just looking at his health bars, I don't know, he has like 15 or so health bars. So pretty long, kind of a grueling fight. You really want to get some big damage in when the opportunity arises. Uh, when the battle starts, he kind of floats around lazily. Um, you should have an opportunity to build up the action command for your Keyblade. So definitely try to do that. Um, it's worth noting at this point I do have the Mickey Brooch from finding all the lucky Mickeys or hidden emblems or whatever. Um, it plays a pretty big factor in my damage output, but not really the difficulty of the play. So whenever he goes low, flies slow, um, you should get at least two combos, preferably three full combos, so you can get your action command. And again, just you know, make sure you get some big damage. This is probably the most difficult phase of the fight. I just don't know how to consistently avoid the damage. I found that the best thing was to look at where the ground is breaking and then roll towards it, because it seems like there's always a minimum length um, that he has from unburrowing before he can burrow back. So running towards where he's going to come out of means that you won't get hit. Charge move is pretty easy to avoid. We've been kind of dealing with those all all game. Just parry, dodge, you know, action command out of the way. Pretty avoidable damage for the most part. The thing that you really want to be mindful of is when he kind of gets low and throws a temper tantrum or he's just swirling around um, and spitting the heartless out everywhere. Um, I use fire and kind of run around in a circle so I can continue to do damage and speed the fight up. Sometimes he does it in the middle of the map, and sometimes he goes over to the wall like that. Um, if he does it on the wall, he's really easy to outrange. low again, opportunity for some melee action. I was really pushing for my uh, barrage there, that's why I kept going. Alright, this is really where we want to mirage staff and start dropping fireballs. A little bit late, not going to get as much damage as I would have liked there. He starts the swarm really close to me. I would have died there if I didn't have an action available. Right, flying slow again. Big damage. Unfortunately, I hadn't healed yet, um, so I don't have any mana for my Mirage Staff. Really should have healed earlier so I could start recharging, but it's alright. Well, 
definitely want to do a better job there and manage your action commands so you can get some better damage because this fight again it's just so grueling very lengthy Trying to save my Mirage Staff for a swarm circumstance. So I can get some good value fireballs. There we go, running towards the dirt. And this, this is going to be huge damage. Mickey Brooch and Mirage Staff combination. And then for the second phase, um, all the moves are different. Um, he has three, one of which is a just tornado swarm forward. He also throws Heartless again, but the pattern's a little bit different. It can kind of go back and forth. And then the third is um, some kind of large Heartless that uh, jump in and out of the ground. We'll have an opportunity to see all three. But really, the challenging thing is to, to not overstep. Um, it's very easy to you know, say, okay, so the boss is blue, that means I can go in. And then, you know, get caught in a situation when you're right inside of the boss and he starts throwing those heartless and it's game over. Might better to not use Splash Run at all here and just save it in case you're in a position where you're going to die. <laughs> um, just doesn't do any damage, fortunately. So here's the large Heartless that kind of dive into the ground and then jump out, kind of like the aerial summon. And then after that, uh, you get launched into the air and have to avoid, you know, the balls when you're in midair. Just throw out a heal there, um, just for the, just for safety. Could use a summon instead. Might be more optimal just to summon Simba. charge attack. Typically does three charges. One, two, three. There they are. I'm gonna cool down a little bit again. A lot of action commands. I'm not really scared to be inside of the boss. So jump in there, flare, fire, mirage staff, all available. Probably should have used some more fireballs here as well. Just, I mean, again, such a long fight, you don't want to make any errors and then have to 
do the whole thing. Action command evasion there. fortunate in the second phase to have yeah, the other swarm grow so much. It's definitely the easiest thing to avoid. Playing it super safe for the last health bar here. That's it. 